In his essay, Beyond the Pleasure Principle, published in 1920, the father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud, proposed that the human condition exists in a paradoxical state of conflict between two fundamental drives, which he called the pleasure principle and the death drive. The pleasure principle is the intuitive idea that every human being is motivated by the basic imperatives of seeking pleasure and avoiding pain what the 18th century philosopher David Hume referred to as the chief spring or actuating principle of the human mind. However, following on from the pioneering work of Russian physician Sabina Spielrein in her 1912 essay Destruction as the Cause of Coming into Being, Freud came to the realization that the pleasure principle could not explain all aspects of human behavior, and he gives us the following three examples. Firstly, when exposed to significant trauma such as war, human beings frequently exhibit a compulsion to revisit those traumatic episodes in their mind for many years afterwards, thereby exposing themselves to further pain. Secondly, human beings frequently engage in staged or recreational pain or suffering, such as, for example, horror stories or works of tragedy, thereby intentionally exposing themselves to pain a curious phenomenon which Aristotle referred to as the paradox of tragedy. Finally, Freud observed that many of his own patients who had been exposed to traumatic events such as abuse exhibited what he called repetition compulsion, that is, they sought in varying ways to repeat the events that had traumatized them. Freud concluded that these behaviors suggest the existence of an opposing will to that of the pleasure principle, and this he called the Todestrieb, or death drive. Freud believed that the death drive was seemingly beyond biology, a quasi-metaphysical imperative urging living beings to return to their inanimate state. In this way, the death drive is a more modern take on Arthur Schopenhauer's view posed a century earlier in The World as Will and Representation, in which he states that life is suffering, and the opposition to that suffering is indeed death's moral purpose. Subsequent recapitulations of Freud's theory have framed it as a conflict between, on the one hand, eros, or the will to reproduce, seek pleasure and avoid pain, and on the other hand, Thanatos, or the will towards self-destruction and death. In his later work, Civilization and Its Discontents, Freud proposes that this inner conflict which exists in all of us is not only self-directed, but can also sublimate externally as outward displays of aggression and destruction, and he considered it to be the greatest impediment to civilization that exists. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more content just like it, and until next time, thanks for watching.